Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. I I must have made a video about this before, but if I haven't, uh, I'll make a short one just about uh, the camera. So, let's uh, look at my ship here. So, I'm in a Viator, and I'm flying my ship, and I'm approaching the station. And of course, you've got the op option of uh, orbiting, or keep at range, and you even have, um, no matter what your range is, well, I think it's, if it's beyond a certain limit, you can't, but I think it, the limit is the range of which you can look at something, and have that, when you say look at it, you jump to that structure and look at it, and you can, um, you know, zoom, uh, rotate your camera around it, or revolve, or whatever. Um, so those are your two options. There's also the manual flying. It, it's not the manual flying in the sense you're using this, which is pretty funny. And in fact, how do I pilot it? I forget how I pilot. Oh, ugh. anyways. So I hardly ever use this. In fact, I think I've probably done it maybe a handful of times in the time I've been playing since 2003. So the one I'm talking about is the tactical camera. See this this default is called the orbit camera. And this is called the tactical camera. The one we were just in, uh, the first person. And uh, if you hover it it's, it'll tell me uh, the commands I can use. So up down left right right. So this is the tactical camera. Now when you click on it you zoom out a bit. And you're in wide mode, and you got the same kind of looking around bit, right? There are a few cool things about this feature uh, that I want to point out right away. When, if you ever know about the Q key, it's Q. I'll hold down Q, and you can click once here, and then you click again, and you'll move. But when you're in, you know, uh, orbit camera you don't really know when you've reached the end of your until you start slowing down and enter you know so to overcome that and to take advantage of this you go into Q see you've got the line now you've got lines in fact you've got more than one line um, you've got lines on your target you've got lines on yourself um, if you move it this way you'll see the line here shifts okay so where you're pointing to where the target is and it's also helpful it used to be really helpful for a line time uh, knowing when you can warp but now you've got now you've got uh, sorry let me say that um, when you're aligning it helps because you can align and go okay I'm aligned now um, and not not just wait for it to reach uh, a certain speed to know you're aligned you can actually see that arrow get closer and closer so that's also helpful um, I don't think you can make waypoints unfortunately but it, it's still it's pretty good especially when you're logy when you're when you're anchor for logy uh, and you're trying to keep at range behind your fleet and keeping range at the enemy fleet, which is, according to you, behind your fleet. Um, and uh, your DPS uh, anchor is keeping range at them, and you're keeping range at your anchor as far as possible on your optimal to make sure you're the first, furthest distance from their DPS team. And this helps immensely when you're trying to make uh, movements that aren't, because you can't really orbit in a certain spot, right? So you've got to manually do it. So this is perfect. If you're, say, for example, at um, attacking a capital and want to keep transversal on it, and you want to um, do it in a way that you're, it's going to be long term. You're not just trying to spiral in on it. Because if you're just trying to spiral in, you just use orbit camera and just, you know, double click in space and just orbit slowly towards it, get closer and closer until you're orbiting really close. But yeah, that is pretty...
pretty much in a nutshell. And I like to keep my uh, orbit camera zoomed in close, but no tactical overlay. But my tactical camera has it on for all my characters and it zoomed out a bit further. So all I have to do when I want to switch between the two and I want to say double click in space and go somewhere uh, and actually get a good, you know, aesthetic feel to flying my ship, it helps sometimes. Um, or I can go out and get tactical. So that's how I do it. And using Q is awesome, especially there, there is a number of reasons you would like to use Q. Um, say, if you were trying to make a undock bookmark, this is how you do it. So normally when you undock, you'll go at a slight angle, oh, that is deviation, away from the perfect undock angle. Especially on a upwell, because sometimes you'll get a, a random undock point, right? You'll come out these, or you come out this, which is completely random. So you'll just go that away, and what you do... is you go out here, and you're okay... That looks about right. And also the nice thing about um, the Q, I'll show you in a second. I've aligned it actually to this Stargate. So that's my, so I align it that way. And, but, you know, typically people don't do that perfectly. So, yeah. So that is your align point right there. So, okay, cool. You've got it 4,000, but you want to go more than 4,000 if you're in a really fast interceptor or something. So all you do is once you've done that, you just double click. And then all of a sudden, you're going in infinite space and then you can do your micro warp drive and, and tootle on over there, go FK, grab some coffee and then come back and get your undock insta bookmark. The other interesting thing about the tactical camera is that you can right click and drag and all of a sudden, you've now disassociated your camera orbit. Now you're just orbiting where you're at in space, right? Your camera, like, you know, right where you, the camera is, not where your ship is, where the camera is. So all of a sudden, you're free to get as close to this as possible. And some really good shots. It's a really good aesthetic thing to do. Uh, and it helps, of course, when you're trying to align, when you're anchoring your upwell, figure out where the perfect angle is to get that. Both of these, actually, I've got uh, very highly traffic. Um, I go here or I go here. So I just go, this is a great system. You can't usually get this sort of lineup, so you have to be really lucky. Um, Especially since I'm at a station, you can usually get this lineup really well by just going to a Stargate and going behind it in line with the next Stargate, if you like. But yeah, I, I lucked out. I'm right under the an awesome station. Yeah, I'm, I lucked out there. Um, it rarely happens, so... The other thing is, I'll uh, look at my ship, I'll go, oops. Uh, oh, yes, um, when you, uh, when you, you know, when you take yourself right, click and drag, you can now zoom out to an impossible distance now, which is fairly interesting. And I'll look at my ship, and that's about where I like my tactical camera to be, and I'll go now check this out this is something unique to the orbit camera you go toggle auto tracking and now you can go angle five in your oh and this offset is because i've set my graphics to dynamic camera movement it's a bit annoying at times but the benefit of being able to see that instead of seeing this is amazing uh the ability to actually not get frustrated when you're trying to look at something so 
I use always for all my clients dynamic camera and I'll click on that and now I can just hit uh, get maximum then I can go you know I can hit descan um, and just I, I showed it I showed a bit of this during my uh, uh, video on the wild hunt that was fun that event in high sec uh, using the descan to find the uh, irregular capsules that's pretty cool so yeah I mean this is a really handy thing and you just turn it off by toggling off and there you go you're back um yeah this I hardly use it's it's kind of funny to use it's kind of fun but at the same time you know it it's not really useful at all oops I'm using yeah I'm not, it's not it's you have to admit it's it's kind of silly I could uh, I could try to fly through that I'm not very good at this but yeah I'll probably make everybody sick yeah uh, uh I see I have to click in space and then I can control it yeah there we go whoa barf <laughs> yeah it's I don't find this as useful at all I used to play this game called jump gate where this was the mode of flying and you were flying and if you crashed in the station too quickly you'd blow up Real fun if you're tired and want to dock. <laughs> Go boom. Anyways, so that is it. Thanks for watching.